Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a product review of the Modern Renaissance palette. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the product itself, the packaging, the shades. Going to be giving you a detailed review on the pros and cons of the product. Um, also, I am going to do some swatches for you and I've got a little demo for you at the end of the video. So I'm going to give you a little background on the product. I did get this palette from Beauty Bay for £41 and it includes 14 shades, I think. Six, eight, six. Yeah, 14 shades. <laughs> um, the packaging for this product is really, really nice. Like, It's just a little cover box. Um, it has the Anastasia Beverly Hills logo and it's all shiny and the colour is amazing this pink shade is amazing it has the name of the product then on the back we've got that it's an essential eyeshadow collection with 14 shades including neutral and berry tones which is exactly what it is it's amazing and it has a little photo of the actual product and it gives you like an idea as to what they're like they aren't the exact same but they are really close they are absolutely amazing all of the shades um, the palette itself has a velvety feel to it it feels so nice it's absolutely amazing and it's just it has the Anastasia logo again it's pretty much the same as the box it just feels different um, when you open it it does go all of the way like it opens like it can go down it can go up it can like goes as far as you want it to go has got a little mirror but it is only a small one again um has the anastasia beverly hills um logo it comes with all 14 shades like this and then it has um a brush that comes with it as well the anastasia beverly hills brush um which is really good too because it has the flatter side to apply the product and then it has the fluffier side the oval side to blend out the product which is amazing i also love this little like bit here <laughs> i don't know what it's called this little bit because when you put the brush in it can be really hard to get it back out so by just pulling that it lifts it up and i think that's an amazing idea also something else i really like about the palette it has magnets in each corner and on these corners so when you do shut the actual palette it does shut properly because the magnets make sure that it closes properly which is also very amazing it just feels so nice so i'm going to do one swatch at a time just one finger amount with a product so i'm going to start with this one which is tempera tempera don't know and again i'm just going to do one and that that is the shade right there it's absolutely amazing it's really good for under your, your brow what's it called brow bone and your inner corners it's absolutely amazing so now moving on to golden orchard and again i'm just going to do one fingers worth and that is the product back right there it is really nice it's very matte it's so brilliant it's so soft like it's just so so soft and silky it had really good really really good really good pigmentation and it did blend out really easy like really well as it is a transition color it's really good so now moving on to the shade Vermeer which is this one here and this is so brilliant one stroke Uh, look at how shiny and beautiful that is Um, it is more of a bright light pe <laughs> peachy with um warm tones and it does have a frosted sheen so it is it's i just i love it it's so it's like a it's not pink it's just real just a flick it's just really light and subtle but brilliant at the same time so now we're going on going on to one fresco one fresco i don't know how to say any of these sounds crazy but this lighter paler shade here which i think it's a more of a, a 
purpley, um, purpley pink kind of colour. Well, you know, like it's not pink, it's not purple, very in between. Um, it's a medium purple with matte finish. Uh, now we're going to move on to the shade Love Letter, which is this beautiful bright pink here. Um, I absolutely love this. It's a dark berry with subtle cool undertones and mostly a matte finish. So amazing. Oh my goodness, look at that. <sighs> Pigmentation for this product is absolutely amazing. I've got such an itchy eyebrow. The struggles. Um, it did not. It didn't turn patchy or uneven at all. Like it stayed. It stayed the exact same way it did on here. This um thingy. What's it called? A palette. A palette. Right. Now we're gonna move on to Cypress Umber. 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 Right. Anyway, this brown one here, which is. And it's the darkest one in the palette, as you can see. It is, it's really blendable, really easy. I have used this one on this eye look today. It's the darker bit in this corner. I do find every look on this palette would be so much better with like a kind of, not a smoky eye, but as you can see here, it's shimmery and lighter towards the corner, towards the middle. Oh my God. And then the end, the end, what the corner? is much darker and across like this top bit is much darker because I do find that, that looks the best but yeah that's really pigmented it's really good matte finish did still put for eight hours again I think that's all of them really so I'm gonna stop saying that and it was amazing this palette really did it's just such a range like it goes from the lighter one well actually it goes these I'd say these here, these four, are good transition colours, really good transition colours. Then I'd say these are like the more shimmery ones of the palette, obviously. <laughs> this is the dark, well, these are the darker ones, really. That They are shimmery, they are quite shimmery, but not as shimmery as these two. This one, just above my thumb, they are the matte shimmery kind of colours, I suppose, and um, if that makes sense. Um, so now I'm going to move on to Raw Sinia. Raw Sinia. I don't know how to say any of these. But anyway. This is what that one looks like. It is nearly, just nearly, the same as the Golden Orchard, which was the second one that we reviewed. Um, but it's a bit darker just a little bit warmer but everything else is the same as the other one that I just said um then moving on to burnt orange which is this one right here and that one I have used all of my lid as a transition color it works really well as a transition color if you want in a more orangey pink kind of tone but yes that is amazing really probably the best transition color that I've used so far um oh, it's, just, it's very pigmented it's really 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 matte it's just so easy to blend out even on bare skin so easy to blend out um then the next one which is Primavia 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 anyway <laughs> that's um the more shimmery kind of tone that is the shimmer that i have on now which is halfway in the corner of my eye um it's really it's not as it's just so shimmery like well if i can get it good enough <laughs> just look it is there that and vermeer are the two most shimmery colors in the whole palette and they are they are shimmery it's really easy like i laid the one that i have on today because i put it on and i've discovered that when you do just lightly put it on it isn't as shimmery as it possibly could be so i laid it i have three layers of it on now and i applied the darker shade first and then blended through to the lighter shade from this corner outwards so that it did kind of seep into it rather than there just being a block i'll go with 
red orchard which I'm going to quickly this one is very powdery same as the other one I can't remember which one that was but it was really powdery and it's more of a like orangey brownie ready pinky it's a mix of everything really. and it's really amazing I have used this across this heart here um, as it just it's just beautiful and stayed on for eight hours which I said I wasn't going to say anymore but it's so important Venetian 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 that sounds right Venetian Venetian red which is this one here and it's basically it's a bit lighter than love letter but it is it has got a little bit of shimmer in with it um actually i don't know if it's a bit lighter it's probably a bit darker i'm really not sure it just it looks similar but they're the two pinkest ones in the palette so <laughs> it's also powdery look so powdery but <laughs> so amazing too and exactly the same as that that's I have everything good to say about this palette. I have nothing bad to say. It's just so unbelievable. And I believe I have a tiny hint of that across this corner underneath the Cypress Umber one. Umber. Well, anyway, good pigmentation, everything, everything I've said about all the other ones is amazing. Warm Taupe, which is actually quite a good transition colour, which is this one here. It's such. Oh my god, look at that highlight such a good shout out to Anastasia for that highlight again but warm top is this one here and it's light it's a transition color I'm sure I've used I have hmm no I haven't I haven't used that a day and um, I have created this is the second time using the whole palette and I have done this same look both times same first time you know it was yesterday and I thought it was amazing same really for everything I've got to say about that one powdery but good pigmentation I will show you I wasn't going to because I need to forgot, but it's a very light, good brown, brown transition colour. So I'd use it for like dark looks to be honest. Relga? 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 I don't know. But anyway, that one. And this is a, definitely an orangey brownie kind of colour. It's like it's a peachy kind of colour too. But that one isn't as powdery as the other ones actually, but it's it's unbelievable. And that one I have over the top of my transition colour today. Overall, this palette is the most amazing thing I've ever spent my money on. The most amazing palette ever. I highly recommend spending your £41 on this. And if you don't have £41, definitely save it up because this, this is the most important thing in all of your lives and definitely should be. It is absolutely amazing. I can't explain how I feel about it it's just it's the love of my life I think but it's genuinely like wow the quality of the brush as well is really good like the bristles and everything are so soft like it's so it's so soft it holds a lot of powder too <laughs> a lot of product and um, yeah it's so soft and it's so this side's so good for blending and that is so good for just pan piling on the product which you they can definitely do it with this you can definitely add layer upon layer and it'll still look on point on the leak but that's all i really have to say about the product to be honest um i will have a more detailed review on my blog which is on my website very 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 soon i'll also have a link on the blog as to where you can get the palette from um thank you for watching I, I'm now going to I am now I am going to I can't I'm I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna nah. <laughs> I'm just going to show you the tutorial demo whatever you want to call it of how I created this look today
for watching and I'll see you next time.